Welcome to Spice and Recipe, the origins of flavor. And today we're discovering the flavors of rich pork or Puerto Rico as we know it. Puerto Ricans are as American as you and me, yet unique in their identity, culture, and their flavors. And as such is the spice that we'll focus on today. It's called Sazon. So here's a short segment about Sazon, and then we're going to come back in our studio with our guest. Sazon is a staple of the Puerto Rican cuisine, a blend of at least four spices, coriander, cumin, oregano, and annatto. The latest one is responsible for the savory taste and foods color that the blend is known for. Anato are the seeds of achiote, a native tree of tropical areas, including the island of Puerto Rico. The blend is used for flavoring almost everything, soups, salads, meats. However, it's different from adobo, a similar blend used mainly for marinating meats. Adobo comes in both dry and wet forms. Sazon and adobo are both commercially available and you can find them in any Latin American grocery stores, but you can easily prepare the blend at home as well. When purchasing Sazon or adobo, it'll cost you between one and $20 per ounce. Unique spices and to share the flavors of this Caribbean island, I've invited two natives of Puerto Rico who call Omaha home now, Ellie and her daughter, Minnie. Thanks for coming. Thank you for your last name's Birchall, right? Birchall. That's how you say it? Yes. Okay. We're going to get into a great recipe here. <laughs> it's not a, it's like, it's different. It's an empa, empa, Empanadilla, right? yes. empanadilla, and it's like an empanada, but different. Right. Mm because -hmm. a lot of people know what empanadas are here in the United States, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, but this is different. Okay. Uh, before we dive into all this, I want to talk about how you, uh, you know, what brought you to the United States? What brought you to Omaha? Let's talk about that journey, Ellie. If I could start with you. And more opportunities. Yeah. Yes. Because I mean, Puerto Rico, it's a territory mm -hmm. of the United States. It's mm -hmm. not a state, but it's a territory. Right. So it's it's easy to come here, right? I imagine it, is. it, it probably is yes. somewhat. Ex is it expensive though? Um, a flight, it will be. I mean, it'll be from about four hundred, maybe to five hundred dollars. Yeah. In a good time. Yeah. I mean, in a sure. kind of like a holiday type of thing, you it'll be more than that. Yeah, but Ellie, you made a choice to bring the whole family. Can oh, what was that like? Obviously, for more opportunities, uh, but talk about that journey and and how you decided uh, to come to Omaha, or maybe it was other factors oh, that led you to Omaha. I don't know. I was divorced in 2006. I want to make a, something different. I was going to North Carolina because my mom was live over there. Mm -hmm. She retired from the military, but in three months, I don't found any job. My, aunt, me, my, my uncle was live here in that moment, and he said, oh, come here. And when I applied by online, in four days, somebody called me. That's great. And Minnie, do you remember this? I mean, it was uh, 14 years ago? It was actually years? about 2009, yep. Yeah. I was a um, junior in high school. Okay, what was that like for uh, an experience for you, somebody who's in high school? Because that's a tough age to it leave was, your friends. It was crazy. I didn't yeah. speak no English at all. We, not, neither one of us speak English. And so it was kind of like a challenge, but it was pretty good. Challenge accepted. Your English is fantastic. Well, thank you. Really? Right? Right. Thank goodness. you. Thank you. Thank you. I still have a hard time sometimes with it, but yeah. Are there certain words that are that, oh, that catch you off guard? Like oh, what? What's oh, a good one? Um, okay, I used to say um, available instead of available. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I hate available. So, yep, yep, yep. So, but you know, we learn. So that makes sense. I get. It. Okay, we're, we are making uh, emp 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 empanadillas. Empanadillas. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So I got it. I got it. I'm, I'm getting it all figured out here. You got it. What is it? Can you explain what it is? That's a uh, ground beef. That's a uh, turnover. Mm -hmm. That what I use in. Uh, Always, that's a red pepper, mm -hmm. that's... So this is the red pepper right here that we're going to give them a chance to scroll down. There you go, that's the red pepper. Okay, sofrito. Okay, sofrito. Oh. That's a sazon with achote. This is it, this yes. is the ingredient, this is sazon, <laughs> right? This is the magic, the, the magic right. ingredient. That's okay. make color to the, any food. Okay. That's a sazon total, have uh, too many spices, but don't have too much salt. Yeah. And this one yeah. is adobo and have uh, the salt for the beef. Yeah, it seems like a simple recipe, yes, but it's yes. very it's very popular in Puerto Rico, it is, though, right? It is. Yeah. is. Is it one of the main? Is it like a cheeseburger here? It is. Is that popular? It's, it's more. It it is, but it's kind of like a like an appetizer type of thing. Mm -hmm. You know, okay. you could find it honestly almost anywhere in Puerto Rico. You'll find it uh, made out of beef, okay. chicken, uh, shrimp. Okay. Mom may be making the lobster ones, which they that's are what, really good. That's what Ellie was saying. She said mm -hmm. she, you make lobster ones too, mm -hmm. right? With fish, yeah, pork, chicken, roasted pork. Uh, we made tripleta 
a turnover, have three meat inside and cheese too. Yes. Sometimes beef with sweet plantain inside. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I like to try them all. Okay. So next time we're gonna have to bring more ingredients and we'll just try them all. I'll oh, get one of each. Okay. Definitely good. Okay, how do you want to start? We want to start, uh, we need to fry the hamburger, I guess. Okay, you go first, to right? do it. You go to put the beef in the pan, in the burn. See how okay. she's looking at me? She's like, okay, you got to put the beef <laughs> in the <laughs> Wait, pan. Wait, teachers make the, sure you go home and do it. You want me to do this? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'll do this part. Too. Okay, those in here, right? Mm -hmm. Just the beef. So we'll let that brown. I just did this the other night for I think some uh, tacos at home. But there you go. She likes to use a fork so you, when, you know they will not end up like in little bowls. Yeah, because you can probably crush it up a little bit better. Okay, so we let this brown. And you start to put the seasonings. Oh, you put the seasonings all in already. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And this is? The adobo. Okay, the adobo. Yes. I wanted to just try a little bit. There you go. It's salty. It is, it's more of a salt, yeah. It's kind of a flavored salt. And this one is as on total. Okay. You can try too. Yeah. That's got more spice in it. Oh, I cannot wait until you try that one. Put it's it on. Zone. <laughs> can I try this? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, you gotta try that one. It's not like it. I like it. You like it? I do it, like it. I, I think it's I like a little bit more things. salty than yeah, than the other two that you had. Yeah, yeah I like salty yeah. things, so this uh this works out for me. This is the sofritos. Sofrito for um for Puerto Rican people is so important and we put in all of our They our put plates. it on everything. They really do. They have a the, the sofrito is a mixed veggie inside. Yeah. So where do you get this? Uh, can you get this anywhere to maybe a Latin I made American? It. Oh you made it. I made can it. You, you, can, get it? you can get you the can sofrito absolutely from the store. It's yeah. called yeah. it's the Goya brand. Okay. And yeah. uh, do you have the bottle over there so people can maybe see that so they um, we have the bottle somewhere? Do you have a bottle? No, no, no so this actual sofrito mom, mom no, made it herself. Okay, But gotcha. yeah, but you can absolutely buy it from the store. So then we just blend this all in, the peppers, mix the peppers yep. in. And you can lower a little bit the temperature yep. down. Yep. The aroma, the smell is very good. You can smell it, yeah. um, so when you came to the United States, what did you think of the food here in the United States? It's good, but it's not better than mine. <laughs> I love it. You know, that's all immigrants say that. Everybody loves the food from their country. That makes you feel you are home. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Especially when you, you know, you're you gone, you're a long distance away. Exactly. And there's things that you remember about home that are special and meaningful to you. Mm -hmm. So we let this cook down. We just brown all this, right? Yep. <clears throat> when I came here, I say, oh my God, I can't believe Nebraska don't have uh, any Puerto Rican place. For me, it's so hard. You want mofongo, you want empanadilla, you need to make it, make it by yourself. Yeah, I mean, this isn't Miami. We're a long ways away. We're not an island. We just have cornfields around us. <laughs> right? Which is fine with us. I think it was a little bit different when we first mm -hmm. came over here, but yeah. sometimes that's what you need, you know? How long did it take you really to adapt and to feel comfortable in a new place? When my grandkids were born. <laughs> oh, when your grandkids were born? Yeah. When I have more, because I can, we came from Puerto Rico with the, uh, the, one. With the first one, and she already has now 15, almost 16. Wow. 15 year old or 16 year old? She's 15 year old. 15 year old. Mm -hmm. I have eight grandkids. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. That is true when you bring the, when you have the whole family the here. The family. Then it starts to feel like home, right? Exactly. Are we it getting close to this? means you're gonna go home and cook this. Me? Cook some of I this. will definitely cook it. I think I've made most of the recipes that I've done on this show. Oh, really? Oh, that's, that's good. good. That's so good. I like to get the kids together and have Enjoy the kids them. make these recipes yeah. with us. One of the, uh, I make it is uh, pizza empanadillas and the kids love it because I have uh, I made it with two different cheese and a little bit uh, spaghetti sauce. What kind of cheeses would you put in it? Mozzarella and uh, el otro, ¿cómo se llama? Que tiene mucha mezcla de... Mm. Kobe, uh, have a Kobe, different uh, Kobe, mix of cheese right? inside. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah, around so, four kids. Uh, so four you're, kind of, you're kind of Americanizing this version, right? For the kids? <laughs> in a way. You see? Yeah. I see what everybody, you're doing, yeah. But don't get too Americanized. No. You got to keep those roots. You know, it's funny, a lot of times I'm like, like my niece, for example, sometimes she'd be like, I just want some chicken nuggets and fries. I'm like, what happened with the arroz oh, yeah. and dules, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah. All right. This is getting close. How done does this have to be? I think it's almost... Uh, you want, subir, if you want to turn it up a little bit more. Turn it up just a little yeah. bit. La idea, de, la, la idea de hacerlo así es que no salgan bolas porque no quieres bolas en la empanadilla. You say the idea, do, you know, the whole idea of doing it like that is, like I say earlier, so it wouldn't be, it wouldn't turn out like bowls, you know, so that's why yeah, you want to kind of crunch it down all keep, the way yep, together. Yep. Crunching it down like mm -hmm. that. Yeah, um, the, the red pepper, you don't need to add the red pepper. The thing is, I love the colors in my food. Yeah, they're not like it, but it, it, have you ever had sloppy joes? Or you do like them? 
I love it. It probably kind of reminds you of home. I mean, this is different. Mm -hmm. These are more unique ingredients. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so this is Zappi Joe, you can just, you, know, you, cannot, you don't only have to add the sauce. You can pretty much add anything to it. Yeah, you, know? so you can put whatever you yeah. want in this. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to let you in here. Yes. Okay, let, okay, let me check. You, you check it. You're the professional, the expert. Do you want to cook out some of the moisture in there? Do you want it a little more dry or do you like it? I'm more dry, a little bit more dry. Perfect job. Good, I did a good, good. job. Yes. Yeah, I did a good job. Minnie, what was, uh, have you learned how to cook like your mother? I have, but I'd rather, <laughs> I tell you what, I gotta admit, I'd rather go to mom's and eat than cook it at home. <laughs> well, I'm sure it's a lot easier. <laughs> Especially when you're busy, it's easier. Oh, it tastes a lot better from hers than mine. Yeah, it does, yeah. yeah. Mom's My kids will like tell you that. Family. No, there's nothing like mom's. Your kids give you a hard time, so you don't cook like grandma? Oh, they, they tell me, yeah, but they, they know I don't generally like cooking at all, so. <laughs> <laughs> didn't she, she didn't rub off on you at all? She does all the time. You know? <laughs> yeah. But. <laughs> Have you taught your kids how to make this? Um, no, my oldest daughter, no. My other ones, they're, they're too little still. Yeah. You know? They're too many, so I kind of just, you know, pick a family day and then have them all watch or something. Yeah, right. <laughs> I see. It's ready. Okay, let's do this. Okay. So, why don't you just pull it off the stove? Just let it cool for a second? Yes, please. Okay, so then what do we do on the next step here while that cools? We, we get... You take it out, <clears throat> one of each. I do it in that way. Take the plastic. The empanadiju, right? Yes. And you can get these at any Latin American grocery store? Them. Or can you get these at... Can I get these at Hy-Vee? Um, no. I don't think you can get them at Hy-Vee. You can get them at a... Most likely at like a Hispanic store, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So, Ellie, you cook for a living. Yes. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about that? I learned from my grandma and my yeah. auntie. Um, my grandma say, you want to learn? Uh, you want to know how I work? Just wash because yeah. I don't do anything by recipe, uh, many ounces or many spoons. Or yeah. No. You need to wash. Yes. And that's the reason I, uh, the thing is I was lose my job um, eight years ago. Okay. Uh, I don't came from Puerto Rico for that. Right. Uh, losing my job, take five surgeries in my hands. Um, in that moment, I had two kids in the get a scholarship in Kansas. They can work because after school, after class, they need to practice. Right. Uh, I don't have job in that moment. Um, I say, okay, I need to do something to bring them. Um, she was live with me. I say, okay, the, the only what I know is cooking. And my grandma say, cooking with passion, do with passion, whatever you want. I say, okay, let's go cook. Yeah. It's so hard in the start, it's so hard because you make 30 plates, um, just one or two people buy the, sure. the, the play. It's so hard, but we are here and thank you God for that. Right here in Omaha, right? Yes. You brought Puerto Rican cooking and cuisine to Omaha. She really did. She did. I gotta right? say the first time, i never forget, the first time she did, um, sold the, um, was selling food, she said, I'm gonna do deliveries and we're gonna see how it goes. So we were like, okay, let's try it. So we did deliver. I remember we did about 30 plates. Mm -hmm. Did you really? She sold out really. She never thought it was gonna go that good. And I was like, mom, you sometimes underestimate yourself. You know, like you're really good at cooking. And good job. Yeah, look how far she has come. So that's we're awesome. proud of the her first for time sure. that they, they invite me for the Cinco de Mayo festival uh -huh. and say, okay, nobody go to buy my food because I'm Mexican and nobody knows about Puerto Rican food here. The, the, the Mexicans, they probably hadn't had the Puerto Rican food, had they? No, I think the closest one, the closest thing they probably had was like um, when Gusto Cubano off of 84th and F Street was open. Oh, okay. uh, so I think maybe that was the closest thing they probably had. Yes. So you think the local people, the Americans, maybe didn't understand Oh, they because don't because it wasn't Mexican. Mm -hmm. Because the, Mex uh, the Mexican and other, and other culture uh, cooked with too much spicy and we don't use spicy yeah, at all for right. cooking, for nothing. Yeah. Just flavor is, but no spicy and yeah. that's the different. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, what do we got to do here? I'm going to do the first one and the other one you do. Maybe we need to bring a little bit. It's supposed to be more cold. Yeah. Because it's not going to maybe broke the, the empanada. Right. I understand. But we got to try. Okay. That's a healthy serving there. You want to get them pretty full, huh? I like that full. Nobody say to me, your empanadillas is empty, Ellie. Nobody. <laughs> Nobody. Okay, you need to wash your hands here. Uh, you know. Um, sure. No, your hands. No, your Can I just start one now? Yes, please. Help me. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I don't want to be known as being skimpy on my filling either. I want to make sure <laughs> I get enough filling in. That's probably good, right? Perfect. Yeah. Okay. 
And we got to put a little bit of water. Did you make one too? No, no. I'm no? watching you guys. No, I, I'm a pro she is again. She's watching her mom cook I'm again. I'm kind of a pro at this. <laughs> so I'm going to make sure you do it right. So. Okay. <laughs> put a little bit of uh, water in the bowl. That's how for clothes. Okay. And then. I like these little wrappers we have on the outside. Yes, it's healthy. Okay. And you go to close in this way. Got it. Really good. Yeah, you gotta be careful here. Okay. Got a little fork? Mm -hmm. Grab a fork. I'll take a fork. And then you press right. the edges, right? Yes, like that. You know, in, in certain check. Asian cuisine, they do this as well. And you need to they turn do around. The dumplings. Yeah, the dumplings. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You need to turn around. Turn around. Yes. Flip it over. The other side. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, you gotta do both sides. Mm-hmm. To make sure I don't open in the fryer. Yeah. Okay, now you need to. A little bit of fry. Turn on the bar. Uh -huh. Okay, let me get this for you. Uh, how much oil do you need in there? Uh, not to cover, but cover the the whole uh, pan. Okay. Just. I let you know. Okay. Ready. Okay, we're good. Perfect. So about a quarter of an inch, mm. right? That way we can get it warm. Let, tell me a little bit about life right now in the United States. She's got her business going, right? And things, you're, you're starting to find a home here in Omaha. Um, how have things been going so far? Have you adapted well oh, in yes. the last 15 years? I, I love Omaha. Yeah. I love Omaha um, and the people. Um, I have my family here. I have my mom is here too, uh, eight grandkids. You know, make, yep. it makes a business. It life. does make a big difference. <laughs> and besides this, so what else do you cook? What I always tell people, if you want to try something different in Puerto Rican cuisine, just try first the mofongo. Okay. Mofongo. How, do you, how do you say that? Mofongo. Mofongo? Mm -hmm. Okay. In the restaurant, I serve the, I serve the mofongo in, in the wood mortar and can show our culture too. Mm -hmm. And you can stuff the mofongo with shrimp, chicken, pork, steak. Lobster. Uh, lobster, yep. uh, red snapper anything that you want and coming with a broth um, that people eat in different ways. Mm -hmm. I, I eat my mofongo with dipping my mofongo in the broth and the people like just the sauce what I bring. Mm -hmm. um, in different ways, but it's a traditional place from Puerto Rico. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Are we ready to fry this? I don't know if it's hot. You want to try it? Yes. You drop it in? Yes. yes. Ah, it's bubbling. Oh, yeah, it I is. can hear it. We're close. Let me try this one. I feel like you, we should, you should make another one so we yes, have more food to eat I, here. There's a whole studio full of people. But I eat these every day, you know? <laughs> I want to see you do it. You want to see me do I it? I can't let you cut. Listen, you I can't come on the TV show and not make uh, the dish. You got me there, okay? I did. That's, that's and if you need help, I can help you because now I know. Okay, well, then maybe I should make you do these. No, other ones you got to it. Make sure you got it right. Another one, another one. Make another one with you. I will do a second one. Well, then there you go. You do this one. Okay. I'll get this one. And Ellie, you can do one more. There you go, Mom. Because we're going to have to fry these things up. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Be careful with the empanada to burn. She's trying to tell the chef that he's going to let the empanadas to burn. You see it? Mm -hmm. You hear that? Yeah. Oh, she's worried about it. And I'm just spacing off. Okay. Let me check the empanadas. The uh, empa empadilla de Jesus. How do you say that again? Empanadillas. Empanadillas. Got it. Is that done yet? It's probably yes. not. It's done? No. no. Okay. No, not yet. Okay. I will wait a few more minutes and maybe flip it. Okay. Water. I do right. got to say you have to try the lobsters and the I would love to try that. I Those love lobsters. are really too. good. Okay, I got to flip in my empanadillas. Uh oh, oh see, she's empanadillas. on it, and I've spaced it off. I lost focus. <laughs> she's not going to let you focus. burn no, them. No, she's not going to let you burn them. Okay. Hey, flip those. It's too high. <laughs> empanadillas. Let me take care of that. I didn't overcook it, did I? No. Uh, not a little bit, no. <laughs> oh, no, I'm in trouble. What happens when somebody overcooks her? See, I eat out. Well, I did overcook that one a little bit. Normally yeah, that's why we did backups. Outside. That's why we did backups. Okay. okay. I'm going to throw this one in. And then 
And then you got another one right there. Woo! Careful! Woo! <laughs> Look at that bad boy. <laughs> uh, and while they're, we're getting these done, thanks for uh, watching us and thanks for being in here. But we're going to finish this up. But I do want to tell everybody out there that you can find the recipe at newamericansmedia.com. And then you can also consider subscribing to our YouTube channel if you haven't already done so. We've got a lot of shows uh, that you can find online um, and a lot of other stuff out there for you. So check all that stuff out. I do not want to burn these. I'm already in trouble for getting the one little too dark. Yes, okay, this one's ready. done. Ooh, we let that get hot, didn't we? Good, good, good. Well, this is good. I feel like we're doing a good job here. Right? They're doing yeah. great. Woo! You scared that oil. Let me let me <laughs> show you. Let me show you. It's going to be like that. Oh, you're a pro. <laughs> you're a professional. Yes, it's that ready. One is ready. And then once the heat starts going, they start cooking faster, don't they? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Woo, look at that. Okay, that one's okay. probably not as done as it should be, is it? Or do you like them no, that way? No, 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 they need to be uh, more time over there. More done, mm -hmm. okay. All right, we'll let that one cool. Oh, that one is good. Mm. Yeah. Let those cool. I let this get too done, didn't I? Is that too done? No, that, I was for me, yes. You for like her, them. yes. Okay, no, so it's up to no. your preference. Yeah, I, never sell, I never sell that in the restaurant. You would not sell. It's too dark for you in the restaurant. It's too dark for the restaurant. Now, these for, are almost for my done. daughter, yes, it's okay. It. Okay, that's not done enough. We're going to have to... Oh, that's perfect. Look at this one. Mm -hmm. exactly. Golden. Perfect. Not done enough? That one's good. Mini, that's good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and then do, we, you want, do you cut them or do you eat them whole? I cut it in the restaurant, but is she going to eat or be my myself, uh, just eat it in with the napkins? And that's it. Let, but I want to show you. All right. Sometimes you got to chase these, like fishing. Like fishing, you got to chase these things down. Got it. Woo. As you can see. How, do you fine. dip them in anything? I mean, I, I like ranch, but I doubt that you, you dip it in ranch. I don't dip Puerto nothing. Rican, they don't dip stuff in ranch, do they? No, ranch, no. That's what I figured. But can we, you guys we can, we, join me? Yes. Yeah, we I mean, you got to take, you got to. Como es a mayo ketchup, ¿verdad? It's mayo ketchup, um, but she makes her own mayo ketchup as well with her own. Oh, like a mayo ketchup? Yep. Mm -hmm. So it does have a little yep. you, creaminess. A lot of people like to dip it, on, dip it on them, yep. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm. These are fantastic. Mm -hmm. I love these. This is the first. <laughs> okay, I'm going to be. I'm going to make. Yeah, yeah. Taste, I'm going to make these. <laughs> in the next couple of days at home, the family would mm. love these. Mm. They're really good. Mm. You do a perfect job. You did great. Mm. All right, good teachers. <laughs> mm. I love the flakiness of the crust. The, I mean, it's not. It's. It didn't get overcooked. No. But it's nice and flaky. And the inside is just soft and. It's fantastic. And you yep. can um, taste the, the flavor of the, of the of turnover. The of, and the and the yes, mm -hmm. it's fantastic. You guys, thanks for bringing your recipe mm -hmm. and sharing your family story with us. Come back again, would you? We will sure will. We will. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank and everybody you. out there, thanks again for watching. NewAmericansMedia.com and sub consider subscribing to our YouTube channel if you can, if you haven't already done so. Again, uh, we got a lot of shows, a lot of stuff for you. So go out there. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, OMA and the USA.